Okay, so I have this spoon and that's the butter. I'm gonna put one more. So this is the spoon that I have. And this is two spoons of butter. So I lightly sprinkle the seasoning across. This is a small pack, so it don't take much seasoning. I come back with the accent and the black pepper. I give this a good stir. Next, I put in the block of cream cheese. You wanna break that down. Now I have the cream cheese about all, you wanna have it all mixed in really good, really well. Just make sure it's, so there's no clumps in it. Mix in the cream cheese. Now, I make my mac and cheese different every single time I make it. I never make it the same way. I never put in Velveeta cheese, but I had some left, so I'm gonna use it. So I'm gonna stir the Velveeta cheese in. Stir this in good. Get us a nice stir. And I do not cook my noodles till they're done. I only cook my noodles for 10 minutes as required. And I let them finish cooking in the oven because I don't want no soggy um, noodles. So you want to get us a stir. So this is about a little melt. It's not going to melt all the way like this, but you want to give it a stir to it is. Now I pull in the bag, a whole bag of cheese. And I give it a stir in. Just stir it in. Stir, stir, stir. With the 16 ounce pack, you don't need a lot of cheese. Yep, yep, yep. So now you want to start pouring in some of your pet milk to make it a little translucent and creamy. I like extra black pepper, so I apply more black pepper. Now that I, you want to, what you want to do is once you add all your cheese to it, you want to taste it to see if it's too salty or what it is. So if you taste it and it seems like it's bland, you want to add more salt and lots of black pepper. After I applied all that now, I'm going to add in the one egg. Okay, I've had everything blended in well. The egg is now mixed through and mixed in. What I'm going to do now is add more of the pet milk. So you got your evaporated milk added all in. And this is how it should look when you're done mixing. Now it's done, coat it with cheese and top it with